This here is what's needed for your regular 10 metre backdrop. Three poles, two cross bars, and always place in a small one, which you'll see soon. So you come onto a site and the client wants you to fill a space between here and the grey mark there. So the first thing you do, rather than come in and put down base plates, so you don't have to double handle, you want to be efficient, you grab your cross poles first. That's the first thing you do as you walk in. And what I like to do, especially with backdrops, is go to the middle, what I call the middle nipple. You've got one, two, three. The reason is, is because with backdrops they're heavier and it tends to, if you go all the way up to the third nipple, it tends to sag in the middle. So I like to go on the second one. So you start lining them out first. So the client wants it from here, from the grey to here. As you can see, we need a small, small cross pole. That's why it's always handy to bring a small cross pole with every set. And we set it here. Now, I'm going over here. So what you can do, another thing you can do to try to make that fit into that measurement, is straight away, you close this one. Now this is unsafe. So what you need to do is you need to gaffer here. So you need to touch both sides of the pole. This one that's moving and this one. You go around and make sure at the end of it you leave what they call a dog ear. So you clip it down like that so it's easy just to grab and pull off. Now another case that happens with backdrops is the room might be very large but they want just the full backdrop somewhere in the middle. So in that case you would put the crossbars out according to the backdrop. Put the backdrop out first before you put the crossbars so you know where you have to go. So here we have it. The cross poles are down so now people who are bringing up the base plates or yourself knows exactly where to place them. Right here. Now when you're first putting it up, you're going to have to get behind. If they're the tall ones, you're going to need the ladder. If they're the short ones, you still need to get your body behind it. So we start away from the wall and then once it's been put up, then we push it back into place, into position. So these are the hooks and these hooks fit into here. Now, some places like to put them on top because it leaves so you don't have any, any lumps poking out. Sorry. Any like knobs here. However, I find that when it's going up and when you're building it, it often slips off these. I've seen it actually happen. So therefore, I tend to, for safety reasons, put it on the inside and we just live with the bump that's here. Okay, there's two rules of thought which way the base, base plate should face. Effectively, if you think of a human, there's my legs, I have feet to keep me balanced from moving forward. So it should be like this, because if it's like that, it, it has a tendency it won't go forward. However, what that causes using sand tubs like we like to use, is when you put the backdrop on, it causes a, a, a mess at the front. So, as long as we fully weight them, and as long as we're not going up too high, we can effectively spin the base plate, put that on, and have them facing this, so then we don't get that ugliness. Now it's time to put the, to start tying the backdrop. You start at the middle. And basically what you're doing is stretching a canvas, unlike when you do drapes. So, you tie, you pull, tie and stretch tie and stretch and you start in the middle and if you've got two people here they go this way so then you know it's going to be even. Uh, there are two sorts of ties that you can get on the new backdrops it's often these ones but we're tending these are better to use because these are a bit too short to go around the pole sometimes you can still do it I'll show you with both right what you do is you have it so the eyelet is right here on the rung all the way along. 
you basically spread them by the side of the eyelet and then you pull and that will bring it down to here. So the strap goes up and over, up and over either side of the eyelet. Then you pull and you tie a simple bow. Nice and tight because when it goes up they often fall forward. So it cannot be loose because there's no point having it right up there and suddenly you've seen that one of them has fallen forward. So just a, a bow, nice and tight bow. When you're taking it down, that allows, so no knots, right? Because at the end of the night, you just want someone to come along and pull and pull and pull and the backdrop will come undone. These ones are the same, but they are a bit shorter and we are trying to tie decent ones on either one, but they still work. If you find yourself on a job and you can't, it's basically like this. So either side, exactly the same, down, round, in and a bow. Uh, you want the corners to hide this pole. There's nothing worse than the client seeing the pole like that, right? So you box it in, right? So you, like you're wrapping a present there and across. Nice and straight line going down the pole and then you tie this off in a simpler bow here round and you just tie it off like a, a simple bow. So a person can effectively put up this by themselves, one person. They start at one end, they put it up slightly, go to the next one, put it up slightly, go there and then work their way back again. However, um, when you're putting this up, you always start with the top one. It goes up like so and it should just move up. However, sometimes they get stuck and you can't push them up. And that's, don't get nervous about that. That's just this ball bearing here is stuck. So it's good to have uh, Leatherman or long nose pliers and you just get in there to the ball and you clip that up. And then that allows you to go up more. So you use the top one first and then you move to the next one when this is fully up. So when you're pushing up the, the first pole, this is first and this is second, this yellow mark means you've gone too far. You, want, you don't want to go there because the thing will pop out and fall out. It has a tendency to do that. So you need to bring it down past that level to there. Now, I'm just going to show you now how to make this come down. As you can see, it's not moving. It'll go up, but it won't go down. So therefore, what you need to do is you've got to push up, unlock, come down. So we'll just do that again. Right, it's not coming down. Push up, unlock, come down. If it won't unlock, that's when you need to get these out and push the ball bearing. 